Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and we are on EDZ in the Winding Cove. Gonna go check out what Zer has for his inventory. Just always like to show you guys how to get here in case you are new to the game, but always drive up here. Go to the left, and the easiest way is actually to hop in this little cave. So if you've ever done this, kind of split the trees right over here. You'll find all these kind of parts on the ground, and let's go see what Zer has to offer us. After I kill a couple of these guys who apparently are hanging out up top. Zer's just like, I'm not here. You can't see me. He is one with the, the quiet. So, let's see what he's got. Alright, so, we do have the exotic engram. Remember, this is a random piece of exotic armor. And, um, it will be armor if you have everything in your collection. Otherwise, remember, it's going to be something new to your exotic collection, so you can try and acquire everything that is available from just world drops. So... Always a good thing to buy, or at least just another chance at something that is going to be a random roll, possibly a good stat roll for you. So let's see what he's actually got for sale this week. So the first thing we've got is the Colony. This is one of those that's been around for a while. It's a fun weapon to use, though, so if you don't have it, i definitely say pick it up. I wouldn't say it's like topping metas or anything of that nature, but it's still one of those that can really annoy people because they're really hard to get away from. Perk here is Insectoid Robot Grenades. These wep this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. So picture yourself like in a PvP match, you've got like a control point you can't quite push on, but if you can get the grenades, say, in the doorway, they're going to run around the corner, and they're going to go track the enemies that are in there. So you may not be able to hit the enemy directly on without getting, you know, taken out, but if you can shoot into the room, they'll go crawl after the enemies, and you're going to force them out or kill them one way or the other. So it is a cool thing in PvP. It's also got auto-loading holster. Basically, this is auto-loading holster. Serve the colony. Insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. So, just like auto-loading holster, switch weapons. While it's holstered, you refill the magazine. When you pull it out, you're ready to go again. So, if you're using this thing in PvE, which I don't see a whole lot of people, it's not exactly the best for that, um, you can get some use out of this. Normally, you're probably not going to get this in PvP because you'll have your one magazine of grenades max that you might get. And I doubt you're going to have enough to start pulling from reserves in PvP. But PvE, that's where that one comes in. So auto-loading holster, but the tracking grenades, pretty cool in PvP. Not too shabby. Get it if you don't have it, for sure. All right, so for the hunters, we've got the Young Ahamkara Spine. Uh, your perk here is Wish Dragon Teeth. Increases trip mine grenade duration and blast radius. Ability damage and grants trip mine grenade energy. So, a couple things. Uh, your trip mine will last longer. So if you hide it in a decent place that's not the easiest to shoot off a wall, should be there for a minute. Blast radius is bigger, so you're definitely going to get a bigger section, you know, bigger cone of explosion, so it's going to be able to hit more people. And ability damage grants trip mine energy back. So if you do get some, you know, damage with the grenade, you'll get your grenade back much quicker. As for stats, we've got a total of 63. Never a bad thing to have 63 stats, but as this is related to grenades... You would want Discipline as your high stat roll, and while it's not a 2, it's not much better at 6. Honestly, like, this one would actually be reasonable if the Strength, the Discipline had kind of swapped stats. So, I don't haven't seen the Zer ones have, like, huge. Like, I haven't seen a Zer one have, like, 22, 2, 26, 2, 2, 2. I haven't seen anything with, like, huge differences. But even if they're going to be fairly close, at least if the Strength and Discipline switch, this would be more optimal. Still not bad to have 63 stats. You can go put on other pieces of armor that have grenades across the board and still build around this thing. But if this is your grenade-based exotic, it would be nice if discipline was a little higher. There are random rolls. You never know what you're going to get. And it's still not bad to have 63. So if you like this thing, still not a bad way to pick it up if you don't have a great roll and you're just kind of working with collections. But just giving you guys my thoughts about the stats. So that's the Hunters. All right, for the Titans, we've got the Synthoseps. Armor perk is Biotic Enhancements, Increased Melee Lunge Range, Improved Melee and Super Damage when you're surrounded. So a couple things. Your melee is going to go farther. I think this is out to 6 meters, kind of matching what the Warlocks are able to do, so Titans will be able to punch farther. Uh, you've got Improved Melee and Super Damage when you are surrounded. So you've got multiple enemies around you. I think it's 3 to hit surrounded. You're going to be doing more damage. And the nice benefit is Super. So if you're running around with a roaming Super, big group of enemies, you're going to be doing more damage. And while your Super is probably likely to kill the like low-level Red Bar enemies, if you're doing more damage with your Super when you're surrounded, you go after that main big target especially. Definitely can be something where you're going to get a better chunk of damage from it. I don't know the exact percentage. If somebody knows, comment below for me. Let me know. Um, but still, more super damage, never a bad thing, especially if you're shoulder charging a bunch of people. You're going to be doing more. Uh, stats here are pretty evenly spread. You've got uh, 62. Still not a terrible roll. It's definitely always better than collections. All of these are. 
Uh, recovery and intellect are kind of the two standouts. Not a bad roll there. If you're looking at melees, though, strength is at nine. Not bad. And as I said, most of these seem to be pretty even distribution, not any like twos and twenties. Um, but recovery and intellect, still never a bad combo to have. Always good to have those highs. So this one overall isn't too shabby. Got to be honest. And for the Warlocks, we've got Phoenix Protocol. This is one you probably should just buy. Uh, your perk here is Battle Hearth. Kills and assists you make while standing in your Well of Radiance return super energy. Now, I know that kind of sounds normal, but it's actually pretty cool. So while standing in your Well of Radiance, which lasts for 30 seconds, your kills um, are going to bring back super energy when you're done. So you're going to be actually getting more super energy back. I think it's capped at 50% like some of the exotics are. So that is definitely a thing uh, where you can only get up to 50 back. But it's still definitely going to return energy for, you know, your super. And if you're running well of Radiance as your super, this is a nice way to have it up more frequently, more of a survival thing, especially so the more often it's up, the better off you're going to be. Stats here, we've got 61 total, but again, recovery and intellect being the two high ones, intellect being 14, not too shabby. Again, nothing, you know, being amazing here as the warlock dress is not going to get blown up by it. But, you know, if say mobility went down to an intellect was like 24, yeah, be say jumping on this one is really good roll. But unfortunately, it's they are all pretty even. But still, you got 14 in intellect. This is a super base thing. Pretty good roll there. If you don't have anything that's, you know, really beaten this one by much, pick this one up, especially if you have the shards to use. Well, that pretty much wraps it up right now for Zur, guys. Um, kind of nice sunset here on Zur. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys are going to uh, check out a couple of things. One, Last Word Podcast recorded this morning. I'll get that one uploaded later. Probably get that one posted to my YouTube channel tomorrow morning. Uh, and then I want to let you guys know on Sunday, I will be doing a kind of charity stream and basically just any time during that, it's all for the awareness of Black Lives Matter. So anything that you guys want to do, come help, support, donate and all that stuff, I will be streaming. It's going to be on the Karma's Revenge channel. So I'll post about it. So follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ubontis. I'll post where I'm going to be and it's 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. Central Time. So 5 a.m. 5 p sorry 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. Central Time. I will be streaming. Uh, it's for the Karma's Revenge Streamathon for Black Lives Matter, and you guys can find me there for about eight hours. So come hang out, keep me company. We'll be playing a lot of Destiny. So thank you guys for all the support. Last word was a great episode this morning. Um, probably going to be playing some of this today or Last of Us over the weekend. So find me on twitchtv Ubontis. And right here, if you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you got thoughts, opinions, builds, questions, or otherwise. And if you haven't subbed yet, hit that sub button and the alert bell. Keep my videos coming to you. You guys are all amazing. We are climbing to 50k. You guys have been awesome for the support. So keep it going. I'll see you soon. Enjoy your weekend. Hope to see you on Sunday and stream.